So how is Shutterfly, uh, because we're, the way we make money today is physical producing and we're a printer, right? We're using paper and ink, so how are we thinking about sustainability and environmental? You know, one of the interesting things is, let me start on the business side and then I'll go to the environmental side, is um, you know, going back 20 years ago, people were talking about um, two phenomenons. One was the paperless society. And if you look at HP's earnings, they're selling more ink than they ever have. And by the way, I do think it's a vast conspiracy. How many people have ever printed an internet, um, you know, gone to a page on the internet and hit print and you get that second page that only has the header and there's nothing on that? Okay, I think that's a vast conspiracy by the print uh, industry to sell more ink and paper. So I would start there because that's about a 40% reduction. But the, um, the paperless society has never really come about. In fact, um, with the access to information and the reduction in cost of personal printing, right, home uh, printers, um, people are printing more and more. And, um, you know, so I think there's this notion of, of, you know, you know, printing is just happening more. And so people go, oh, you know, I was sitting with a, um, uh, a 27-year-old portfolio manager at one of the largest um, mutual funds. And he says, you have the stupidest business model I've ever seen. I go, I don't print. I take picture on my cell phone. And then, you know, I look at it and I delete it. So you're going to be out of business in two years. I said, well, this is going to be a short meeting, isn't it? And, um, and I said, hey, here's something I know. First of all, I, I said, my guess is you're in your mid-20s. He said, yeah, I'm 27. I said, well, I know you're going to get older. And if you're lucky, you'll date, you'll get engaged, you'll have a wedding, you'll have children. <laughs> you'll move out of your apartment, buy a home. You and your wife will want to decorate your home. And what are you going to want to decorate it with? Your memories. You're not going to want to anymore put up that picture of, uh, you know, the rock band um, or, you know, that, that, that supermodel, you're going to want to adorn your home with your memories and tell your stories. And then something's going to happen. You're going to realize your grandparents, your parents are going to run your life, right? You have to give them a calendar of the kid's first, uh, you know, uh, poop and his first walk and his first talk and his first stuff. <laughs> and so we have a really good business model. So I'll come back in four years when you kind of get it and want to invest in it, right? And so that doesn't address yet the environmental, but I believe there's a sustainable business model. But we're also not being ostriches and sticking our head in the sand and saying, okay, you know, the world around us isn't changing. So we were on the first, a couple of years ago, we created something called Shutterfly Collections. So we give away to our customers two free URLs. So, for example, I have housingbold.shutterfly.com. And it's an environment that's password protected, and I, my immediate family and friends have it. And it's a place where we could combine blogging with storing out pictures so we could look at each other's images. So one of the things we do is vast amount of sharing, hundreds and hundreds of millions, um, you know, and billions and billions of images are stored with us and hundreds of millions are shared every year. And so we're cutting down in this notion of using technology where you could take 500 pictures on your 8 gigabyte um, card today and zoom in on the 40 or 50 you really like and edit and only have to print the 40 or 50 you like versus in the old days, again, you would have to, you know, drop off a roll of film and um, print every single one of those. So we're allowing greater choice. In the old days, also, you had to get in your car, drive to retail, use up gas, buy a roll of film, come back to the store, use up gas, drop it off, come back a third occasion, pick up your prints. Now, the retailers love that because they filled your cart with a bunch of sundries you didn't really need uh, on those three occasions. But just the notion that we do mail order delivery to the home or to the office cuts down on a lot of that transport. And things like our electronic sharing and our collections and our new gallery where people could post their projects up online and you could share with each other and you could re um, inspire each other's ideas. There's a lot of ways in which we're innovating to stay ahead. From a corporate citizenship and from green and from um, thinking about how do we reduce the waste that we create, um, one of the things is we reclaim all of the silver and the chemicals that we use in the process to make prints. And um, so, you know, as commodity prices have been rising, that's pretty good for us because we just recycle um, those items. We also have been working both because there's business benefits from cutting down on the amount of waste um, uh, in terms of how big of uh, print do you use before you cut around it, how do you reduce errors in the manufacturing processes, the technology, the people training? So we've been uh, on a jihad to kind of reduce the amount of scrap um, that's generated in our business. One, because it's good business. It saves us on margins. But two, it's just good for the environment. Other things we've done is, uh, you know, 470-person company, um, you know, We've given out, I realized we were spending hundreds of thousands of dollars giving people free drinks during the day. And so now we've given out Nalgene bottles and asked people to refill their water. 
right? We're doing recycling. Um, we're going back and um, looking at uh, and using certain recycled products in our packaging instead of, you know, original bleached um, uh, paper. So there are things we're doing. Again, it's just good for the environment. It's good because of our mission and, and is to make the world a better place by helping people share life's joy. And part of the Shutterfly Foundation, the way we give back and focused on the environment, children, and education. Um, but it, it's about innovation. It's about thinking out of the box again and, and finding that right balance as a for-profit business that are good things for the environment, good for our community of um, customers and employees, and good for the environment.